Good day everyone. My name is Henry S. Flores. And I'm Jennifer Morales. I am J. Mark M. Novabos. I am Lester Jen S. Ithar. Today, we will show to you the chronological order of our system entitled Lending and Budget Monitoring System with SMS Notification for Public Employment Service of Panabu City. Lending and Budget Monitoring System with SMS Notification was developed for Public Employment Service Office of Panabo City to improve the organization of files, tracking and monitoring of accounts, and faster dissemination of information to the members. Also provides an exact computation, faster process of transactions, and secured all the data collected through security measures that are being implemented. The system has two major modules. Grow Micro Module for Loaning and Budget Module for Budget Monitoring. The project will provide the following functionalities such as record the beneficiary's personal information, approved loan, and loan payment transaction. Record all allocated funds, supplies, and expenses for the following sections. Public Employment Service Office section, Special Program for Employment of Students section, Microbase Incubation Program section, Community Skills Training Livelihood section, and Job Start Philippines section. Compute Loan Penalty, monitor the remaining and utilized budget for each section. Also provide SMS certification to the beneficiaries for the following transactions. Approval and disapproval of loan application, releasing of loans, and payment due date. Archive obligation request data, and generate reports such as payroll list, individual loan portfolio, and balance report for each section. First, let's talk about the Grow Micro module. Let's open the SAMP and click the Start button. Next, the user must log in his or her account to access the system. Then, fill up the beneficiary's personal information. After clicking the Save button, the data will automatically appear. Once you click the Disapprove button, the system will send a notification to the client that his or her loan application has been disapproved and the data will go to the transaction history. Otherwise, if you click the Approve button, the system will send a notification to the client that his or her loan application has been approved and the data will automatically go to requirements transaction. If all needed requirements have been complied by the client, the data will go to payroll list and then add maturity date. After setting the maturity date, the system will send a notification to the client that his or her loan is now ready to claim on the given date. When the client would like to pay his or her loan, this will be the process. The system can also generate individual loan portfolio.
Once the loan has been totally paid by the client, the data will automatically go to renewal transaction. Now, if the client has a good record and would like to renew his or her loan, the data will automatically go to requirements transaction. Last is the penalty. If the client did not pay his or her obligation in one year, 3% of client's remaining balance will be added on his or her bill. As we can see, 30 pesos is the 3% of the client's remaining balance which is 1,000. The system automatically added 30 pesos penalty into the client's balance. Now that you've learned the chronological order of how the Grow Micro module works, we will proceed directly to the budgeting module. Let's open the SAMP and click the Start button. Next, the user must log in his or her account to access the system. After logging in, the user can add a budget but only in the first quarter and covering the whole year budget. To add a budget for a section for a whole year, the user will click the section drop-down where he or she can add a budget from a chosen section. Also for the PPA expenditure where the user can provide a budget from first quarter to fourth quarter. Then, scroll down to see the details of his or her transaction. The user can edit or delete the budget input if there is something wrong. If none, click Done. Next, click the Public section and in the Monitoring tab, the user can monitor the budget for each quarter. Then, click OBR Transactions tab to add obligation requests then fill up all fields. Then, click Archives tab to view image or update.
For the reports, click Obligation and Balances button. In Expenditures tab, the user can see the details of their expenses. The process is just the same in other sections for a special microbis, community, and job start section. The context flow diagram or CFD that illustrates the flow of information in the system. The full functionality of the system and illustrate the actor which is the user and the use case diagram. It represents the interaction between the actor and the system. Implementation is essential to test out the full functionality of the system and also to trace bugs and errors and formulate solutions to the errors and bugs found. Before the implementation was done, the developers provide a brief orientation to the users of the system. The developers discuss the flow of the system to ensure that the correct flow of transaction was met by the system. Also. A weekly report for errors found was discussed. After the orientation, the user was given a chance to interact with the system to test out the full functionality of the system. In the first week of implementation phase, the user of the system encountered and listed some errors in the system. Some of these errors are lack of input field for OBR number, for budget module, an individual loan portfolio can be accessed for the Grow Micro module, which was enumerated. To resolve the error found on the budget module, the developers added an input field for OBR number and updated the entire system right away in order to have the user a smooth and continuous work experience. For the Grow Micro module, the developers reviewed the system and found out that the database connection was the problem. The database connection details were changed to the hosted server's particular. In the second week of the implementation phase, Grow Micro module of the system cannot be accessed was the error encountered by the user. To resolve the problem, the developers of the system asked the ITSO office to charge in charge of the matter and found out that the hosted server was turned off and requested to turn the server on. For the budget module, the user has not encountered any errors in the system. The user of the system have, have not encountered any errors for the next two weeks of the implementation phase. Even the implementation week was end 
The developers of the system reminded the users to not hesitate to reach out if there are errors found or concerns regarding the system. After the implementation, the user was given an evaluation questionnaire to rate the system's performance. SAMP is an open source server package that works on different platforms with an acronym where X means cross platform in the four operating system A for Apache, M for MySQL, P for PHP. SAMP was designed to help developers, programmers, and designers to create, check, and review their works without connection to the internet. The developers benefit in using SAMP by allowing them to create and manipulate database at any time. Sublime Text is a shareware cross-platform source code editor with a Python application programming interface or API. It natively supports many programming languages and markup languages, and function can be added by users with plugins typically community built and maintained under free software licenses. Twilio is a messaging, voice, video, and authentication API for every application. It has helper libraries and SDKs in many different programming languages that help developers create apps that can leverage the power of voice and messaging. Adobe Photoshop is capable of manipulating and editing images that uses range from full features editing of large batches of photos to creating intricate digital paintings and drawings that mimic those done by hand. The Lending and Budget Monitoring System for Public Employment Service Office of Panabo City with SMS notification will focus on the development of the project objectives. The computer-based system has two major modules, the Grow Micro module for loaning and Budget module for budget monitoring. The Grow Micro module has two major users, the admin and the beneficiaries. The admin has privilege to operate the computer-based system and responsible for adding new beneficiaries, update the beneficiaries' loan payment, approval, and disapproval of the loan application, and generate a list of beneficiaries to be payroll, whereas the beneficiaries are provided a remote access privilege through the mobile application to view or monitor the individual's account. The computer-based system is designed to record the beneficiary's personal information and approve loan. Once registered, the new beneficiary will undergo background checking, an organization's primary procedure to ensure that the beneficiary can pay the applied loan. The system will send an SMS notification to the beneficiary for the approval and disapproval of loan application. If the loan application is approved, the beneficiary's name will be listed in the payroll module of the system and notified through SMS notification for the disbursement of money. The computer base is also developed to compute the annual interest of the loan, provide an automated reminder to the beneficiaries for loan due dates via SMS notification, and generate a payroll list report. The budget module of the system will allow the user to record all allocated funds, expenses, and supplies for each section given by the budget office of Panabo City. The computer-based system is also designed to compute the remaining and consume budget for five different sections of the office, provide an archive for a convenient data retrieval, and generate a balance report for each section. The administrative aid has the privilege to interact with the system and can add new admin users. The system does not include other areas of the operation involved in the PESO such as managing the supplies inventory of each section, job employment and generic payroll system for employees. Non-members have no access and any privileges of the department 
and the department head does not have the privilege to use the system. Recommendation The developers recommended that the loan application for the Grow Micromodule is better to be done online to minimize the walk-in beneficiaries and workload of the user. Since many individuals have access to the internet, the user will no longer manually enter the beneficiary's individual personal information and will now focus on approving and rejecting loan applications. And for the Grow Micromodule, the budget module of the system should be hosted online if there is a stable internet connection in the office to avoid the loss of data whenever changing new computers or reformatting computers will happen. Another advantage of hosting online, the system can be accessible and functions in any other computers or devices as long as there is an accessible and stable internet connection. Conclusion speedy access to accurate data and to help the end users to create an impact on the organization's performance, functions, and of course productivity was the end point of the developed system. The development of automated lending and budget monitoring system for Public Employment Service Office of Banabo City with SMS notification can be seen as a tool that can support the end users in a convenient way of dealing with organizational processes. End users of the system were able to attest the full functionality and efficiency of the system after countless of testing during the implementation and gave an overall rating of 5 represented in descriptive equivalence of very efficient in evaluation given. This proves that the developers achieved and met all the objectives of the system. It is really essential for us to know how to use the Grow Micro module and the budgeting module. Especially nowadays that money is an important necessity to live. Having this background knowledge will surely helps you to be a responsible user of technology. Again, I am Henry S. Flores. And I am Jennifer Morales. Now, now signing, signing off. off.